What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of reaction to Bartender Glass of God, episode 5, The Last Drop. Last episode was pretty good. In fact, this entire show has been really good. Uh it, it is a just it, it's a feel. It's a vibe. This show is a vibe for people like me who have dabbled in I, I am extremely amateur, mind you, but I have dabbled in cocktail making and drink making. So this is all up my alley. I've said this multiple times every single video. I'll probably go into for the rest of the season. I, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this as a person who has made cocktails before. But I'm ready to jump into this episode of reaction. Last episode, we got to talk about the perfect martini, which I thought, I didn't realize that olives in a martini is like the garnish. You can have a martini without the olives, which is what I would probably do. I thought they would actually add the olive juice to the martini, but that just turns it into, I believe, a dirty martini. And I don't like olives or olive juice, so I'd probably just have a martini with hold the olive. I think I would actually try that. I, I, I don't know what a martini tastes like, so I'm curious. But anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction. It's called The Last Drop. I would be It would be funny if that's the name of a bar, but we've seen already three, I think. So yeah, I'm really curious. Without further ado, let's jump into episode five of Bartender Glass of Gods. And in three, two, one, let's jam. Oh, it's at our bartender bin. Yep. Why are they together? Uh, is this a, is this a trip to see to another bar and it's called the last drop? I'm calling it. Oh, ooh, Yamazaki. Is that the the Yamazaki Irish um, Irish? Uh, sorry, Japanese whiskey. It is. Holy shit! You have no idea how much I would love to go there. I would love to see how Japanese whiskey is produced in person. Japanese whiskey is my favorite whiskey. I don't have my bottle, do I? No, I tossed it. Skip an intro, I've already seen it. It, uh, for a second, I was like, this isn't a date, is it? By the way, girl with the short hair is totally my type. He said like four words. Okay. You can be as attractive as you want to be. If there is zero personality, you are nothing but a giant paper bag to me. <laughs> or a wet paper bag. Let's add even more. I've, I've met some very attractive people, but their personality was either mute or horrible. Ruins everything. At least to me. Some people don't care about that. And by all means, you do you. Bro, Yamazaki... I wonder if this is like they're going to be modeling exactly how it is in if it's there. I don't know any I've never I've never really looked into Yamazaki cuz I want to try it before I look into it. I like doing that. Hmm. Well, here I am. I'm, it looks like I'm actually going to get a study session before I even go in. Trying it. Hmm. I do like this. It's a bunch of bartenders just going around looking like learning. That's so cool. 
Ooh, bro, this is a this is right at my alley. Yep. If you've never had I uh, Japanese whiskey, I keep on saying why to say Irish. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Um, I would recommend a Centauri. Um, Hibiki Centauri is still probably my go-to. It is very smooth. It's fair. Yeah. So that is a 18 year right there. 1924. That's a hundred year ba barrel. I have never had anything past 18 years. I think it's either 18 or no, I've never had I've never had a 20 plus. It's either 16 or 18. Oh, she's as old as her. You have no idea how much I would love to try that. 2012. Significant year for him. I was in, I was a senior in high school at that year. Oh. Ooh, I like drinking Irish whiskey by itself, but learning to see what kind of they, what they would do as a cocktail. Yes, please. All right. Okay, so that's just a highball. Wait, this is, was that the 1923? Holy shit, that's the 100 year. Wouldn't that be a lot darker? I feel like that would be a lot darker. Because it's aged... Or is it just a tester bottle and it's from 1923 because that's when it was created? That would make a little bit more sense, like SMA in Weird dude, this Chen guy. Like, I don't have the most sophisticated palate. I like my whiskeys, but I'll always, I will always try a new whiskey. Unless it's like, like cheapy, cheapy stuff that I might, mm. I'll try it, but very rarely do I find a cheap, like, under $20 that I like. I think the only one that's really cheap that is actually really, that tastes pretty good uh, for whiskey standards is Larceny. Never mixed with it, though. I'm sure it could make, I can make a really good old-fashioned with Larceny, though. He seems really conflicted. Like he's had something on his mind. He's, he was looking at that 2012 barrel. Spare key. Hmm. 
I would have liked to have seen a lot more of uh, the learning process, but kind of also makes sense. Bro, that elbow. <laughs> I would love to go find someone to go bar hopping with in Vegas that's not on the strip. But also, I don't know. I don't drink much anymore. I am going to be drinking on Sunday, but it's only like a one or two drinks. Probably two drinks. Maybe three. It depends on how, uh, I'm, how I'm feeling. Most strings, yes. Whiskey is very, I mean, that is with the water I, I will yeah like tequila it's more on the plant on the, on the gabe i really don't know much about the distill distill um distillization of vodka so i couldn't really give you a estimate of that not not a big vodka drinker only if it's a mixed Let me guess, he got a charm from this, that girl. He's showing, he's showing slight emotion. Look at that furrow in his brow. Interesting that we're getting a backstory on a guy we'd really just met and have had zero buildup of. I mean, he takes straight after his father, so where's his mother qualities besides Japanese? She cute. He hasn't really changed soup uh, a lot from like keeping his emotions and personality in check. Hmm. Singapore. By the way, Kelvin is a really weird name. I 
I mean, I'm I'm assu I'm assuming these guys are English. Blonde hair, blue eyes. He developed a, he developed some emotions for her. Does she not want to? I get that. I watched you. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm assuming his dream was to um, be a bartender. Eh, maybe. Let me guess, he's gonna see her dancing in present day. It's gonna change his outlook. Interesting. No, wait a second. No, maybe she got. She didn't win, but it was still closed down. Oh, never mind. I lied. Plot twist, they were all winners. Oh, young love. How I miss the youth. Hmm. Oh. But holding on to something for 12 years is, yeah. Whiskey. Oh, it's over here. Yes. Literally a drop. That's very accurate. You do not want to dilute it too much. In fact, that's why whiskey stones exist. To add the... Yeah. Yes.
Uh, I just realized it makes more sense. 12 years ago, 2012, that's why he was looking at the 2012 year. They would actually be... So he's just slightly younger than me. Well, if they're the same age. If they're the same age, because she was still going to school. So if that's the case, he's slightly younger. But I think he's might be a little bit older. So he might be actually closer to my age. They're just slightly, uh, they're slightly buzzed. Is he gonna pass and see a video of her dancing? It's gotta be. Wow, we didn't get anything. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. I expected some type of resolution for that. The true face. Okay, hold on. I thought the this episode oh the first drop of the last drop. Okay, the first drop. Okay, okay, so I'm okay. At first I didn't like where this was going. I wanted to see more about the bartending one. Um, they used the whole 12 years. They tied it in. It's pretty good. One more, though. Like, if you're going to give me this very bittersweet story of this character that we've known nothing about, a backstory, give me a resolution. Assuming that this person's going to be part of it. But you know what? At, at the same time, maybe this is a resolution. Maybe it's him. Like, think about now. Like, right in this moment right now. Maybe the whole 12-year thing is to understand and go and move on. Takes time. 12 years that dude's been beating himself up for that. He got to, got to experience things and then learn things as well for about himself. And about what he wants to do. You know, maybe that was that was the message all along. Sometimes the resolutions don't happen. I don't expect me and my ex to resolve things. It would all have to end up on her pot plate. I don't see it happening. At least not nothing, no time soon. Uh, and that's okay. Sometimes resolutions will never happen. It didn't end well. But because it ended, I'm I'm a better person now than I was. So yeah. Hmm. This episode made me think. I don't know, I kinda feel like I need to rewatch this episode. This one's sticking with me for some reason, and I don't know why. My first, my, yeah, like I said, my first thought was I didn't really care for this episode too much, but now, I don't know. Really making me think. Really making me think. So, without me rambling on too long, I'm going to go hurry up and wrap this up and start my next show. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.